Hi you guys, it's WPB Teacher 8 again. Welcome back to my channel. So if you saw my other video, I decided to get some Christian Louboutin flats from Yogi's Closet. And I decided I wanted to protect the bottoms of the soles. So I had seen on YouTube a lot of people had used this Zag and Visishield. So I ordered one and I tried it and I've done one shoe. So I wanted to show you guys um, how it came out. Um, I've seen a lot of people do the high heels, uh, but I didn't see anybody doing the flat, so I figured I would put this out there. So, what you get um, when you order it is you get one sheet of the Invisa Shield, which this is the um, this is the iPad one, so it's kind of a bigger sheet versus like the iPhone size, and then um, you get that. And you get some solution, like it's like a wet solution, and you get a little cloth, you get the directions, and you get a squeegee. So it's kind of like, when you put it on, it's kind of like doing um, like a car window, like putting tint. So anyways, so what I did was, um, these are this is barely long enough for my flat. So I cut it in half, and so I did one half for one shoe, and I'm going to do the other half for the other shoe. So I've only done one shoe so far. So basically what I did, um, and this is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is the shoe I did, and it's, so it's really shiny, and then this is the one I haven't done, so it's not as shiny. You can kind of tell it's more dull. These were used when I bought them, so all those little indentations were on the shoe anyways um, when I bought them, but the red hadn't really come out, so come off. So whoever wore these, wore them inside or for some sort of event or something where they didn't scratch off the bottom. So I decided I wanted to use the Invisa Shield to protect the bottom. And this is the one I've done already. So I think it came out pretty good. So I'll show you guys. The hardest part was the tip up here, like getting it to lay flat. And then of course, I don't know if you guys can see, but it just barely covers the red, and there's that little teeny tiny piece on the heel where it doesn't cover, so I'm not gonna really worry about that little piece. But anyways, so basically what I did, I'll show you guys real quick what I did was, um, I did not trace the shoe. So it would have been impossible to trace, plus I didn't wanna put pen or marker on the Invisa Shield. So basically what I did was I just cut it in half, and then I used the solution. Um, my shoe, shoe. <laughs> the shoe does not want to stay. Stay. Okay, so I sprayed the shoe. You like those sound effects? I'll do it again. <laughs> I sprayed the shoe, and then I peeled the Invisa Shield off, and then I sprayed the Invisa Shield, the whole thing. So it's wet, and the shoe is wet. And then basically, I just laid it down. On top of the shoe this is not what it looks like but this was the backing so you guys can kind of see so I laid it down on top of the shoe and then once you do that um, you start pressing from the middle and going out with the squeegee so and that gets all the air bubbles out so basically I got as much of the air bubbles out as I could obviously if you're doing this on a brand new shoe that's best uh, versus mine because as you can see this one had little indents and things in the shoe already, but I think I got most of the air bubbles out, so this is what it looks like. Um, so I just squeegeed it out, and then um, after I had all the air bubbles out, I just took a little pair of these scissors like this, and then I just cut, I cut around my shoe. So, um, because there was no way for me to trace it, especially without these like spiky things on the end. So, um, and that was it. So I think I did pretty good. It says to let it sit for um, 12 to 24 hours. So I'm not gonna wear these to work tomorrow, but I'll probably wear them on Tuesday. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wear them a few times, and then I'll give you guys a review on these Invisishields. It says that they are, um, it's military grade nano memory scratch and scratch protection. So, Supposedly, these are like the best things. It says, I'm self-healing. So I guess if you get scratches and stuff on it, it kind of, peel. I don't know how it heals itself, but anyways. Um, so 
there's like tons of videos on YouTube about this, but I just wanted to show you guys I was actually doing it for my flats. So I did it just like a person with a heel would, except I just took it all the way down to the bottom of my shoe. So this is what the, this is the shoe that's done. And then I'll show you the other shoe that's not done. This is the other shoe that's not done. So you can tell this one's not as shiny as the other one. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and then I'm gonna let them sit overnight and then tomorrow and then I'm going to wear them on Tuesday and then um, maybe I'll do a video on Tuesday after a day at work and I'll show you guys what they look like on Tuesday and then I'll probably do a review after I've worn them a few times after that. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. If you have any questions, put it in the comment box. Thanks for watching.